at the bottom of the garden. Thomas McGill, BBC London News. Now, as the nation remembers Princess Diana, 20 years after her death, flowers are being laid and candles lit close to her Kensington home. Among those with very personal memories is the owner of a small cafe in Bayswater, where Diana would sometimes pop in for breakfast with her boys. Here's Sarah Harris. She had wanted to be the queen of people's hearts, and 20 years on, that's still how many see her. Abdul sent her flowers. A neighbour in Kensington, he named his cafe after her with Diana's blessing. 20 years ago, it was, I was uh, while I'm asleep and then wake up and I heard about the news and the disbelief happened when I came to the shop and it was like five o'clock in the morning. I was going around and around. But suddenly then I saw the wave of people, and people coming, putting in flowers, putting in candles. Is, uh, is a big disbelief. Uh, is make you not control about your head and your brain. And uh, like you, one minute you think is maybe is not real, one minute you think is you have to face reality. 20 years ago, people left flowers here as they did across London. She was the best of the bunch and, and um, she was a victim, but she came out the winner. As news of her death started to sink in. I was working on that Sunday 20 years ago and the newsroom was full of people. I assumed there was a, a training day. My editor told me that Diana had died and it took a few moments to sink in. There was a reaction of shock and disbelief. And when I came into London here in Kensington, I watched other people go through that same reaction. Looking back, some find it hard to understand why there had been such an outpouring of emotion for someone most didn't personally know. She looked fantastic. It was a great event. Ian uh, met Diana many times as a royal photographer and said she had a quality of relating to people not known before in the royal family. When you're in the realms of the royal family, a lot of the time, unless they ask you a question, you just remain silent. It's a very, very simple uh, objective, you know, when, we're, when I used to sort of photograph them. But with Diana, you could just talk to her as a normal person, like we are talking now, just as for someone who was normal, who wanted and wanted to listen to what you had to say as well, because all the time she was sucking in that information. This is an international milestone marked by people all over the world for one of the most famous women in a generation, an image still recognised and a legacy her sons are determined to continue. Sarah Harris, BBC London News. Now, uh, it seems to be the latest must-have pocket...